It doesn't matter how fun this level is to play, nobody likes it because of the blue shapes. Come on, it looks like nothing. So that is why you should decorate your level with some colors and art. It literally took me 10 minutes to make it look way better. Adding a story to your level can make it easier to design and more fun to play. You don't have to write a whole book, but a story about a person stealing your car is always better than a sword stroke 5. Which probably means that he made 4 sword stroke for this part 5. <laughs> Making your level too easy doesn't really make it exciting anymore. Just add a few challenges and your level will be fun again in no time. <laughs> Who would even play this? Making an intro shows your skills as an editor, and it also introduces the player to your new level. It's a great way to start. <laughs> Custom vehicles can make a level even cooler. For instance, most people make their own minecarts. You can also try something different. For instance, I made a bike. <laughs> Be original and think of your own idea. Don't even think about making a bottle run, glass throw, don't move, jet fall, spike fall, ball throw, or short throw level. Just don't. Don't overuse preset items. First of all, it ruins your level, and secondly, it looks better if you create your own items. <laughs> the Poly tool allows you to give a lot of details to your level. It's like drawing. Try adding shades and colors to create all kinds of art. <laughs> By giving your level a good name, you attract people to click on it. But don't spam. <laughs> By making non-playable characters yourself, you can make way more characters than the ones that you are limited to right now. The only problem is that it takes a while, but the result is pretty nice. <laughs> By making animations, your level is like a playable movie. Don't overuse it though, as people may get tired of waiting for your animation to finish. <laughs> By making elevators and using the trigger tool, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. My tutorial on elevators is in the description, but there is way more things that you can make. For instance, robots, automatic bridges, boss battles, and even a time machine. By using black holes, you can teleport the player to the left corner of the screen. Then you can add a text to that place to make it look like it's some kind of menu. You can also use black holes to make objects disappear. To make a black hole, simply add three dots to the density and press enter. The dots will change into NAN and your shape is gone. <laughs> By simply picking a bright, a middle and a dark color, you can add shadings to your art to make your level look a little bit more 3D.